Hey guys, what's going on? So Sunjo uh, sent us this pretty cool pressure washer to test out for him, do a review on. But before we get to that, in this video I'm going to do an unboxing video and see if there's any assembly required of this thing. So we'll show you what to expect when you're taking it out of the package and uh, what you may or may not need to assemble when you get it. So let's open this up, we'll see what's inside. And what I'll do also is I'll put a link in the description of this video to the product out on the internet so you guys can check it out online. So let's crack this thing open and get going. So this is a 2200 PSI pressure washer and let's see it comes with a brush inside, um, oil cleaning brush. It also comes with a bunch of uh, quick disconnect spray tips. So let's open this up and we'll check it out. It's nothing like new stuff. Who doesn't like new stuff, right? <laughs> so I've been eyeing these things in Home Depot and uh, they're nice units. So inside the box, this is how it's packaged. And there is a brush right here. It looks like the brush attaches to the end of the uh, jet. So it's pretty good to the end of the wand. Then the machine itself is right here. Let's put that right there. And here is a hose. And all the uh, nozzle attachments are in a bag. It's four of those. Here's a brush too for your wheels on your car so you can get into all those crevices, get the brake dust off. This would be pretty cool to use. And here's a car wash, like a snow cannon. To check that out, it looks pretty neat. Here's the gun. And here are a few brackets. So let's open this up and uh, I'm gonna assemble this. But also here is an attachment um, for the uh, gun at the end. It's the wand pot right there. So it comes with some directions, a little bit of hardware, attach everything with. Let's open this up and see what's involved with putting this together. So we're going to install the trigger gun holder and this is what it looks like. This is the first thing to put on. There's a little uh, tab inside and it kind of locks into place. So you just really slide it on and push it down. And give it a little tug and it should be locked into place. Alright, so the next thing we're going to install is this transport handle. And this you use to kind of wheel the machine around when you're using it. So there's a couple of tabs right here. You want to make sure this black handle slides into the tabs correctly and it's not sticking up on either end. So you slide it in like that, it should be nice and flush all the way around the base of the top of the machine. There's a bag of screws that come with the machine, so you're going to screw this in the place to hold it in. So the back of this is going to take four screws. There's one right here. One on the other side. And there's one here and one here. These are pretty easy to screw in. You just need basic, um, like a basic Phillips screw. That's all I'm using, like a long one. These are kind of deep, so that's about the size that I have. Nothing too complicated. If you watch the rest of our videos, we're always swinging wrenches, so. <laughs> Eight, and those four are done. The next is the uh, hose holder. So there's like one screw right here. So basically there's two tips right here. It slides right in and goes in just like that. And take another Phillips screw and screw this into place. Right, that's all set. So there's actually, uh, here's the uh, 
snow cannon so you can slide this in and lock it in a place and it kind of just hangs out right there for you so you can take the nozzles out of your bag and there's a couple of provisions right here there's four provisions to hold um, the nozzle tips onto the machine for you so you're not fumbling around and looking for them um, looking on your workbench and stuff like that and they'll just kind of snap right into place so you know what this is going to drive me nuts <laughs> i'll put them in like some kind of order that one there and zero and the 15. <clears throat> so you have four different sizes this is a zero i mean a 40 degree one uh we can see that right there and then it's like a 25 degree tip let's see if can, it's a 25 degree tip This one's a 15 and zero. So you get a little bit of everything. So there's um, another cup to put on the bottom of this and they're calling this the spree wand protector. So when the wand is in here, it kind of sits, the end sits in this cup so it's not on the ground. So there's a little slot right here. So you're just gonna push this into place. And then put one screw right here. It's a Phillips screw. Hey, it's kind of nice. It's nice and sturdy. So you want to rest straight in there. It won't be touching the ground, messing up the tip. So at this point, you're going to want to put the lance onto the end of the gun. It's threaded, so connect the th two threaded parts together. And then make sure it's threaded in there correctly. That's locked in there pretty tight. There you go, just like that. Okay, so now you're going to connect the hose that goes to the uh, wand on the back of the machine and it just threads right on. So make sure you just take your time and you catch the threads correctly. You don't want to uh, cross thread anything. And twist on like that so it's nice and tight. All right, so what you want to do next is take the other end of the hose and screw it on to the bottom of the uh, pressure washer gun. Here's a nice big you know threaded couplings right here they work good so when you've done that you push your gun into place and it holds it just like that so on the front of the machine this is where the um water connection is going to go to your house and this adapter comes in the kit uh, this is what it looks like right here and you're going to unscrew this on right like that And then you can screw your garden hose into the end of this pot, and that'll be your water feed into the machine. So this machine comes with a few different attachments. There's a snow cannon here, for like washing your car, your ATVs, a motorcycle, whatever it might be. There's a wheel brush right here. And there's also like a um, really soft uh, brush. So if you're washing your car down, you can use this as well. To use these, you have to take the end of the wand off. It's an easy twist. Like right here if you twist it this way this i think they call this the lance this part of the uh, gun will come off and then you can screw in this attachment right here and this is going to allow you to kind of go between these different attachments so if you wanted to use the brush um, there's a couple of tips on the brush right here they're winged if you look right here, there's a couple of provisions for it. So if you can see down, there goes my snow gun. <laughs> so if you can see down in here, there's a couple of um, provisions or channels for the end. So that's all you do is press the brush down there or whatever attachment you use and twist it and it'll lock into place and it'll be like a watertight seal. So the, the water will go through the tip of the brush right here. So then to release it, So to release it, you just push down and twist up. And then if you have to clean off you know, the wheels on your cars, kind of do the same thing, twist and lock it into place. 
And then when you want to remove the wheel brush, twist and remove it, you can put it on the back of the machine. And then if you want to go back to putting the lance on, you just unthread this adapter. And then you screw this on like, like this. And then you can work with the power wash attachments. And if you're using the different attachments that come with the machine, you just kind of push and click in like that. <laughs> I guess it'll fly off if you're not holding them. <laughs> so now that I'm done putting this together, let's walk around it real quick and I'll show you all the cool features about it. So things that I've noticed right away uh, while putting this machine together, it seems to be more rigid, more solid. Um, it's definitely heavier than some of the other machines and products that I've had. Um, there's a nice hose thing here to, to hang the hose on. You can also put it on the side right here. Uh, there's provisions to kind of hold everything. Like there's a provision right here to clip your snow gun into place so you're not looking around for that. Um, there's a nice holder right here for the uh, gun. There's a cup at the bottom so the, uh, the, the, not, the tip rests in the cup and not on the ground and doesn't get dragged along when you're wheeling the machine around. So right here with the trigger, there's actually a lock too, so you can put a safety on it so you can't squeeze it. It's a pretty nice feature. And on the back, you can put everything on the back so it's always with you. So on the back right here, another nice feature is everything clamps onto the back. You have all your nozzles, your tips right here for the nozzles, all the different jet sizes. Uh, you have your wheel brush, your uh, foam, your brush right here to you know soap up a car or wash down a motorcycle, whatever it might be. And uh, everything's right here for you. You don't need to go running around looking for stuff on your workbench, wondering where your, your nozzles are because they're in a big pile. You can kind of tuck the, um, you know, the, the electrical cord right there. And, you know, you can put the attachment nozzle down in here. So everything kind of has a place on the machine, which is nice. All right, so next video is going to be a review video on the, uh, the Sunjo machine we just assembled. And we're going to do all kinds of power wash and stuff with it. Uh, we have some bricks around here, you know, some walkways to pressure wash, uh, some ATVs. We're out there getting the muddy over the weekend, and uh, we got some great stuff coming up. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. What I'll do, like I said at the beginning of the video, there'll be a, a link in the description of this video over to the machine on the internet. So you guys can click on it, check it out online, and uh, see all the great features about it. But uh, definitely stay tuned for the re review video of the product, and I uh, hope you guys are going to like it. Thanks for watching.